The investigation into a deadly car crash in Augusta continues. Good evening. I'm Amanda Hill in for Zach Blanchard tonight. There are still questions about what exactly happened on a stretch of Coney Road in Augusta yesterday that led to the deaths of two women and a toddler. Today we learned the identities of the women, but police are still not talking about what they think happened on Coney Road. New Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse was at the scene today. This is the area of Coney Road in Augusta, where two women and a one-year-old child were killed while walking on the side of the road. Now. Those in the community are grieving and residents are raising concerns about speed and safety on this road. My hat goes out to all of them. A community filled with grief after three pedestrians were killed Thursday in Augusta. We, we uh, we're so sorry, you know, um, it's I, I can't even fathom something like that happening to my family. This is the stretch of Coney Road in Augusta where a one year old along with Barbara Maxim Hensby and Rosalind Jean were killed by a vehicle. We feel so bad. We really do. That's why I wish something could be done about this road and you know other roads so stuff like this doesn't happen in the. The cause of the crash has not yet been released but those who live on Coney Road say speed is a frequent issue and many people walk here despite the road having a small shoulder. They just fly anyway. They don't care if it's 35, 45, or 20. The speed limit's 35, and people do 50, 60, uh, and uh, you tell them to slow down, and they don't listen. Folks who live around here are leaving flowers at the scene of the crash to honor the victims. My heart goes out to you, and I'm very, very sorry. I just can't imagine what they're going through. The Red Barn Restaurant in Augusta will be holding a benefit dinner for the victims' families on Monday between 4 and 7. The Augusta Police Department is also asking anyone with information about this accident to please contact the department. In Augusta, Sean Stackhouse, New Center, Maine.